Waverly Woodson, the combat medic who saved 200 lives at Omaha Beach on D-Day. An LCT, landing craft tank, is motoring towards Omaha Beach. On board are members of the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion. The 320th is part of the segregated United States Army and will be the first unit of black American soldiers to land on D-Day. Corporal Waverly B. Woodson Jr.'s journey to D-Day has been far from straightforward. 18 months earlier, Woodson had dropped out of education to enlist in the United States Army. Keen to serve his country in a combat role, Woodson joined the Anti-Aircraft Artillery Officer Candidate School. Woodson performed well and scored highly on his exams, but his time as an officer candidate would be short-lived. As was a sad sign of the times, Woodson was informed that, because of his race, there would be no officer positions available, and he was dropped from the course. Woodson stayed in the army and he was retrained as a combat medic where he was attached to the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion. Back at Omaha Beach, as the name suggests, the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion would be responsible for inflating barrage balloons above the beach to protect the invasion forces from Luftwaffe strafing attacks. Woodson was one of just five medics attached to the battalion forming part of the third wave of landings. The invasion has already been underway for several hours, and Omaha Beach has been the scene of some of the bloodiest fighting on D-Day. The beach itself is littered with dead and wounded soldiers. Woodson and the other four medics are urgently needed on the beach. Unfortunately, still some way out from the beach, Woodson's LCT makes contact with one of the hundreds of mines protecting the beach. The explosion disables the LCT's engines, and it drifts slowly towards the shore. This made it a sitting duck for the German artillery gunners, and within a few minutes the LCT takes a hit from a land-based artillery gun. The man standing next to Woodson was killed immediately, and Woodson himself was hit by shrapnel in his groin, thigh and back. Initially believing that he's been killed as well, Woodson slowly comes around from the shock. He knows his skills as a medic are desperately needed, and so when the LCT comes close enough to the shore, Woodson shrugs off the pain and staggers onto the beach. The battle for Omaha Beach was still raging. To avoid further casualties, landing craft commanders had been ordered not to accept any wounded men, and so despite his shrapnel wounds, Woodson has to cross 300 yards of open ground before he finds a sheltered position at the seawall to set up his aid station. For several reasons, Omaha Beach saw the hardest and bloodiest fighting of any of the D-Day beaches. Arriving on the third wave means there's plenty of soldiers needing Woodson's medical attention. For the next 30 hours, he ignores the pain of his own wounds and works tirelessly to remove bullets, administer plasma, reset broken bones, and even amputate a foot. Woodson finally agrees to be relieved at 4pm the following day, but he hasn't finished yet. A safety rope is severed, and four soldiers have been dragged underwater due to the weight of their equipment. Woodson drags the men to shore where he provides artificial respiration to one of the soldiers. Thanks to Corporal Waverley Woodson, all four men would survive. Having ignored his own wounds for more than a day, Woodson's body finally gives up on him and he collapses. But despite his D-Day experiences, after just three days on a hospital ship, Waverly Woodson Jr. asks to return to the front line. During his 30-hour shift, it's estimated that Corporal Waverly Woodson treated more than 200 Allied soldiers. He survived the war, retiring from the army in 1952 with the rank of Staff Sergeant. Despite being nominated for the Medal of Honor, he would ultimately receive the lower reward of a bronze star along with a purple heart for his actions on D-Day. Many believe this to be a gross injustice, almost certainly influenced by the racial divides of the 1940s United States Army. Not one Medal of Honor was awarded to a black soldier from World War II until a review took place in 1997 and seven veterans had their Distinguished Service Crosses upgraded to the Medal of Honor. Just one was still alive to receive the medal. US authorities have defended the position, as millions of World War II records were destroyed in a fire in 1973, making it difficult to confirm the events. Waverly Woodson's story has recently made a resurgence to mainstream news, and a petition has been started to posthumously upgrade his Bronze Star to a long overdue Medal of Honor, and there's a link to that petition in the description below. Let us know if you're signing the petition down in the comments, and as always, please help the channel to continue growing by liking the video and subscribe to the channel for more animated war stories.